How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week two of our final season here with Coastal Carolina. Last week, we beat Mississippi State at home. This week, we'll have the chance to beat Ole Miss at home and just really anger the entire state of Mississippi. Before we get into the game, let's take a look at our top 25 polls to see what happened around the country last week. Uh, Texas didn't play anybody. We're the only team in the top five that did play a team. Uh, Georgia, kind of our rivals, were able to beat Tamu 34-27. to We were hoping for a loss there, but they come away with the win. Arkansas beats Michigan, so the number seven team uh, coming out of the Big Ten takes a loss in their season opener. And that's pretty rough to lose 49-14 against Arkansas, although maybe a good Arkansas team. They're sitting at 14th in the country right now. Uh, Texas A&M and Oregon will play this week. Washington beat Wisconsin. Um, any teams dropping out? No teams dropping out of the rankings, but some pretty interesting matchups so far. A lot of ranked ones coming up. And one thing to note in the others receiving votes all the way at the bottom there, Ohio State. How are they receiving votes? They went four and eight last year. Four and eight. Terrible season. Uh, although they were like a 99 overall team and I expect that's probably the same. So maybe I shouldn't at all be surprised. Our Heisman watch we know didn't change. We got Marquise and Raid on up there. Uh, so I guess let's just, uh, let's bump through our recruiting real quick and then play our match. See if we can get the win. Now, again, this season, we won't be showing a crazy amount of the recruiting in videos because what well, we're leaving the team after this year, uh, at the end of the day, doesn't really matter who we recruit, but I don't want to leave this team in a bad state. So we are kind of looking through and trying to do a decent job. You guys just won't see it. It'll be behind the scenes and we'll just pop in with highlights. So with uh, the recruiting done, uh, you know, nothing really to focus on this week. We can check out our matchup. We are favored to win this, even though Ole Miss won their first game as well. They're only a B-plus overall, so we're looking high 80s, low 90s. Uh, they had a turnover. Statistically, though, after our first game, we look much better. Who did they play? Uh, we kind of put the beat down on Mississippi State 49-17, including... Uh, a touchdown on the last play of the game because they just continued to go for it. We kind of hit them with the screw you plays. Uh, they beat South Carolina. What we probably should be considering an in-state rival for us. They win that one 35 to 21. South Carolina hasn't been the best in this dynasty, but they're still an SEC team. So that's a decent win. Uh, let's see. 91 overall with a 91 offense and a 93 defense for the Rebels. We are at home, so we get to have a little bit of fun with that. But we can take a look uh, at some of their uniform combinations. And I think I have to give them some sort of powder blue. Uh, I enjoy that quite a bit. Maybe we go, let's see, do we do white with the stripe or white with no stripe? Uh, let's put the stripe on there. Why not? But we got to go with the powder blue helmets. For us, uh, we're just going to go with the black jersey today and see if we can start this season 2-0. We can't take too much stock in these ratings, but if we did, we would say that we were the best uh, offense in the country, <laughs> sitting with those number ones after we were one of only a handful of teams to play in week one and we kind of slaughtered our opponents. Uh, they look pretty mediocre for the teams that played. I don't think that's super great rankings, but they did some work. Again, our best players pretty solid this year, finally with the two high 90s. Uh, they're sitting with 392 overall players. Their quarterback, a cornerback and another cornerback. Oh man, I hope my pronunciation stands out enough between that. They do have an injury as well, a left guard. That's a bummer. You lose a left guard with a strained back for six weeks at the beginning of the season. So it's a uh, beautiful sunny day here. Early fall, late summer at the new Brooks Stadium as we will uh, get underway here. And as we get into this game, I'm curious. I changed a couple of settings on the RPCS3. Uh, as we win the toss and we'll elect to kick the ball off. But I'm curious to see if you guys are able to notice a difference. To me, uh, playing around, it kind of seemed like maybe a little bit of frame rate. Like it was uh, a little bit higher frame rate, but I'm not sure. So I guess we'll see how that works. And we'll see how the defense works in this game as we're going to open this one up with a blitz on first down. Trying to bring some pressure with the linebackers. Quarterback keeps it on the option. And it's Durham Finch saving that one from becoming a whole lot more, but they get a first play on their first, or first down on their first play. How about on this first 10? Maybe we can stop him if we don't run the option. It's a screen. Logan Smith just dropped the interception and in what might have ended up being a pick six. 
I want to say it was last game, Logan got up and did get an interception, but landed out of bounds. So we need to uh, teach him to hold on to the ball and to land in bounds, and then he can officially get that turnover. Kale Mackey with a good deflection there. And on this third and 10, we'll see if we can finally get the stop, get this defense off the field. They got to be looking to pass. Man wide open. Sandcastle gets there and breaks up the pass. So Lance Jones starts 0-3 through the air. And the defense will have the opportunity to get off the field and start resting early in this one. We did give up a first down, but then locked them down after that. And we'll have a chance to return this punt. Looking for the best. Can't quite get that. Uh, decent field position for the offense, but they still have a ways to go. We're going to go option on first play. Uh, I want to give Mike Fontaine a lot of carries in this game. See if he's legit or if it was just... Uh, Maybe a little bit of luck in the last one as we saw some success running the freshman. But I also don't want to put too much of a weight on his shoulders early in his career. Second and three will give it to him up the middle on the dive. The blocking is good enough. And he's able to get four yards and move the chains for us. Let's try a pass. Four receivers out to the right. Marquise alone. By himself on the left. What can we do? Stepping back to pass. A might be open over the top. It's Chad Bradshaw. He comes down with the catch and holds onto it through the contact for 14 there. So Radon's first pass is a completion. We move across midfield. And this time it looked like they were bringing a little bit of pressure as we try to run it up the middle. And we get a, you know, decent three yards there. Gonna run one that typically doesn't work all that well for us. A play action, as it looks like they could be bring pressure, so this could be really dangerous. And over the middle, can we get it to Williams? Ooh. Okay. Lucky that one wasn't picked. So I guess that gives us a third and seven to work with. Again, looking to throw. They're not bringing a whole lot of pressure outside the pocket. Can Mike Fontaine hold on to it? The freshman has some hands. 17 yards downfield, and again, we move the chains. I like the passing so far. Let's continue it as we'll go short little dump off to Stewart. And Sean can get four yards on first down. Again, we'll take that every time. Big opening drive for this offense so far as we are now almost inside the red zone. JJ Barr is going to come in and the fullback on his first carry of the game gets four yards. Sets us up with a third and short now into the red zone. Let's try a little bit of a run. Why not? Give it to Mike. He's got some space. And he fumbles the ball, and that's a problem with running a true freshman in uh, so many situations. He takes up big hits and just can't hold on to the football. It's going to be uh, first and 10 from the 10 now for Ole Miss. Kind of bringing some pressure, expecting them to run. They're going to go to the air. Somebody has to be open. Quarterback's throwing it away right before taking the sack. So we're doing great with our coverage so far. We just need to be a little bit more disruptive in the backfield, I feel like. How about this second and 10? They're going to motion the tight end slash fullback and run it up the middle. And Don Riley was right there, but somehow didn't get the tackle. They run it for 19. I don't want to do this, but it feels like they're making me blitz them often. They run it out to the edge where we bring the blitz. And that's a good stop at the line. Alex Martin only gets a yard there. Out of the hurry up. They're going to again hand it off out towards the edge. Kale Mackey gets the tackle that time, and this time it is a loss of two. Kale, maybe a little slow to get up there. Question is going to be, can we stop them on another third down attempt? We stopped the first one as they tried to pass, and on the second one where they tried to pass, there's a man completely wide open. A little bit disappointing as the out route burns us for enough for them to get that first down. This time, quarterback going to scramble. We'll give him a couple of big hits, but he's able to hold on to the ball. Feels like we're at least making them work for the yards, but uh, we need more than that. Out towards the edge they go. Will Phillips getting stiff arm cheesed in the tackle is completely broken, and we give up 15 on that handoff out towards the edge. Just not enough being done to keep them stopped here. They'll look to throw. Wide open man, but he's not going to get a whole lot. We'll take that on first down. Still in the hurry up for Ole Miss. They will step back to pass once again. Quarterback has a man. Will Phillips there to get the tackle immediately. That should be a loss. And now it's going to be third and ten, thankfully, for us. And oh, no. Martin. Uh, 
That might have been a running back, number 48. He broke his thumb, so he's gone the rest of this game. They step back, looking to throw. They have somebody, Leon Ca Sandcastle, is there for the tackle. That one was well short, and it's fourth and eight. And oh my goodness. Mississippi State had a great kicker who hit like a 55-yarder into a five-mile-an-hour wind. I don't know if this guy's going to do the same. 50 yards. It looked short. And then, I don't know if it was short, but it was definitely wide to the right. Not a returnable one for us, but we should get good field position as Alabama falls 0-2 to start the season, losing to Mizzou by four. Curious to see if we can hold on to the football on this drive. Oh, look at how they're playing our guys. That is so, so pressed up. Let's keep Mike as an extra blocker. Looks like they want to bring pressure, and they will, and I hit the wrong button. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was a terrible throw. Hmm. Maybe got lucky that Radon was so inaccurate because uh, we threw it to Malcolm, but he was incredibly covered on that one. Uh, how about this? Can't hold on to that one. It's quickly third and ten. I'd rather not have to punt the ball away here, so I guess we'll see what could happen. I mean, Marquise could burn his man here. Uh, and I'm just late throwing the ball. Great coverage on Marquise. They do have some really good cornerbacks. We take a ten-yard sack. We're going to be forced to punt this one away. Fourth and 20. The offense just getting blazed right here as Frederick will come out to punt. And, of course, we're going to try to cheese it a little bit. Uh, I want this to be the last play of the first quarter. Can we get it to hit the ground, or will he field it? Oh, he's going to field it. Wow, great catch on the run from the return man. And Ole Miss is starting pretty much from midfield. So, end of the first. Uh, all tied up at zero. Offenses on both sides can't really get it done. Not a huge fan of that. Not sure if you guys have noticed anything so far with the settings that we changed with the emulator, but for sure the little cutscenes run much smoother as I'm getting toasted right here. And maybe it's just the switching between the two, but it almost feels like gameplay itself is a little bit lower frame rate. So I don't know if that's a change that I necessarily like. This snap, a run out towards the edge, and we should be there for the easy tackle. Kind of lost his forward progress. I'm bringing that safety blitz again here. Second and 10. Can we get in there? It's an option out towards the edge. Quarterback keeping it and getting upfield for seven yards. Maybe a bit of a problem on this third and four. I don't really like my play call. It might be too late to audible, though. We are bringing a little bit of a blitz. Smith getting the quarterback to throw off his back foot, and thankfully... That lands at the feet of Kale Mackey. Incomplete. It's fourth and four. So we will expect this kicker to hit the kick. The question is, uh, you know, we got, he has the power. Can he get it accurately? Yeah, no problem. All right. Well, Ole Miss first on the board. Three nothing. We'll see if our offense can figure it out because right now it's not looking so hot. They do have to kick off to us, which is nice. I'm hoping for just good field position. A touchdown is always nice, but I want to make sure we get a couple of good blocks and we can get Marquise around the corner. Uh, that'll work. Starting at about the 35-yard line. Okay, so running has been okay. The passing has been a little bit below average. What can we do to mix those together and find some points on this drive? How about a play action? That's kind of a mixing of the two. I don't like Chad's route. Let's have him just kind of go on a slant and plenty of time outside the pocket. Chad Bradshaw is open, but coming over the middle, so is Malcolm Williams. For a second, I thought he fumbled the ball, but he gets us to midfield with that catch. Now let's go up the middle. Little Mike Fontaine run. See if he can just start to hold on to the football a little bit better. And it's plays like that why I'm glad that we have him and why I have shown some good trust in him. We call the dive, and he goes seven yards. Just able to keep moving forward, so we'll go right back to the same play, second and three. And even though he gets hit at the line, he's just continuing to fall forward and get a couple extra yards here and there. One of three on our third downs. As this is maybe a little bit risky. We're going with the counter. Going to have to, oh my gosh, find a gap. It's J.J. Barr in that time. I didn't even realize, and the fullback. Shows some mobility and goes for 11. We were in four down territory, but uh, I didn't expect that much. First and 10. We got two Williams out there. Who are we going to throw to? If either of them, let's go with the safe one. Give it to the running back. Pick up four yards and just make sure that we're moving forward. 
This game feels like we're going to have to grind out our possessions. They're not going to give up anything big. At least uh, that's what they've shown so far. Mike got hit with a big shot from the linebacker, but thankfully held onto the ball. All righty, back inside the red zone. Last time we fumbled the ball. This time, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it could. We are running it. Third and two on the read option. Radon keeping it, looking for some blocks. Should have slid down, but I'm getting greedy. And uh-oh, Mike Fontaine coming off the field injured. Let's hope that's not a bad injury. Looking maybe for the bubble screen to JJ Barr. And wow, we didn't even have time to make the throw. We get sacked immediately for a loss of three. So uh, I guess we'll go to the air on this second down. Looking to throw the timing route. Williams, again, just can't hold on through the contact. Well, at this point, third and 13, we'll look for the first down, but we got to make sure that we hold on to the ball first. Uh, you know, we are in field goal range, and I definitely would be a fool to avoid that. This could be a touchdown, JJ Barr. Can't hold on. Oh, he was going to be down at the two if he just didn't drop it. But we got to come out and kick a 35-yard field goal instead. I pushed it. <gasps> oh, I thought I missed. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to say that we're lucky to be tied up. It is three all in this absolute barn burner of a game. Two minutes and one second left in the half. They're going to take a knee and a touchback. And Fontaine has a high ankle sprain. And we'll be out for two weeks. So that's going to hurt our running back depth for sure. Quarterback keeps it on the option and loses two as they take their first time out. Hoping that uh, our talent weighs out on this one as we'll expect them to pass the ball quite a bit on this drive. And oh no, that's not good. James Jackson, 14 yards, just burned Leon. Well, I'm going to continue to uh, bring some pressure here. Only makes sense for us. First down, they look to throw. Smith, good pressure on the quarterback. We hit him as he was throwing, but he finds a man and gets seven yards. They're moving quick. Just haven't been able to do anything to really slow him down. I'm just going to keep bringing the blitz. Got to get pressure to this quarterback. Can't let him just sit in the pocket all day long. And I don't know if that matters because his guys are open almost immediately. What if we try to use a defensive end? Wilson gets some pressure, but again, it's just going to be too easy of a catch. Well, we're going to make an adjustment and try going aggressive with our zone. Chance to get burned deep, but we have some speed at the defensive back spot, so I don't expect that to happen. That's a great pitch out, and I missed the tackle. Ole Miss into the end zone. How much time is on the clock? A minute and 21. Maybe a chance for us to come back and tie it up before halftime, but not a whole lot that we can do there. That was just a good option. All righty. Offense has not found the end zone so far in this game, so I feel like maybe we're asking a lot of them, especially with our starting running back out injured, but they're going to have a little bit of help from Marquise. Starting this drive from about midfield. Very, very useful kick return there as we will look to the air pretty much this entire drive. Seeing if anybody's going to be open, it should be Marquise. Can he stay in bounds? No. Only had to make one man miss and he was going to be gone. Still gets us 19 yards and stops the clock. See what we can do on this one. Chad Bradshaw maybe on that post route, or we go with the safe one. Give it to Williams, and this is the new Williams. Jonathan, not Malcolm. You know, he gets 15 there. It's going to be very difficult for me to tell them apart. Uh, 83 and 85 are their numbers, so we'll see if I can remember that. On this first down, looking to throw, getting outside the pocket, and we're just going to step out of bounds. Oh no. Are they looking to see if I stepped out of bounds before I threw it? <gasps> this could be us losing a couple yards. Weird to see a review for this. I think he was in. They reverse it, so we lose seven yards? Wow. Oh, I didn't realize I was so close to the sideline, and now we are in a lot of trouble. Second and 17, 53 seconds. I'm throwing it up for Malcolm, and that should be a touchdown. Oh, thank goodness. All right, we just had to back up away from the end zone to get the big play, I guess. <laughs> We're going to tie it up at 10 here with just 50 seconds before halftime. 
Ole Miss takes the touchback, so we can just hope that the defense can hold. Uh, we don't want to give up any points. But a field goal wouldn't be the end of the world, and they run it on first down. I'm going to be taking timeouts. If they're going to run with 50 seconds and a timeout, that shows that they're afraid. They don't think that they can go down and do it, and they don't want the turnovers. So we'll try to make them pay as there they throw it away on the screen, and it's third and 11. Only have given up one third down conversion so far in this game. This could be an option. No, it's a run out towards the edge. We get the tackle for loss, and we can take the timeout immediately. So we will have 38 seconds in a timeout of our own to work with. So they're going to be forced to punt this one away. And you never want to do that against this man. Can we get a decent return? Looking. Oh my gosh. He fumbled the ball too. Are you kidding me? It's disastrous. I'm hoping that they overturn this. I didn't want to review it myself, but I just feel like... They're... I don't think he was down. I think that's a fumble. No, no, that knee hits, right? Knee hits and then the ball comes out. That should be our ball. I can't really tell. My eyes, one of my eyes is closed. I got something in it. They reverse it. Thank goodness. All right. They thought they had some momentum brewing. That killed it. Can we throw up a good four vert at some point in this game? Marquise has to be open. Although the safety might get there in time. And it's a diving one-handed grab. Not going to be able to run, but not going to be able to drop it through a hit either. Let's hurry up to the line. 25 seconds back inside the red zone. I don't want to settle for a field goal. Defense barely gets set. I'm going to roll outside the pocket. Plenty of space to work with for Radon Randall. And I'm just going to get out of bounds with 19 seconds left and a first and goal. A little bit worried because we've had issues this close to the goal line with limited timeouts before, but... We're going to stick to our guns, and oh, this is a mistake. It's the backup fullback who's now playing the fullback because J.J. Barr is the backup running back, but we're going to give it to the backup anyways on first and goal, and he's going to lose yardage. Kevin Spencer. Oh, maybe got back to the line. Clock's ticking. I'm hoping I can get one more playoff this time to J.J., and Barr gets into the end zone with four seconds on the clock. That was scary. We probably would have had time to take the timeout and kick the field goal, but... Oh. Just like that, we're in the lead of this game. You guys are going to hate me so much. I'm going to try to bait Ole Miss into the same thing that didn't work against Mississippi State. <laughs> we'll see. I, we already saw their kicker miss one field goal. I'm going to hope that they miss this one too. The one that he hit was 41 yards. This one's like 58 so I'm really hoping he doesn't have the leg. I don't know what the wind's doing. It looks fieldable for Marquise. So you never know. We could cheese out a kick six. Marquise, one man to make miss. Can he get the corner? If there's no penalties to add the half, Marquise Jackson is going to take it the distance. The kick six to increase it to a 14-point lead before we get the ball to start the third quarter. Last week, I was hoping it was going to be Big Brian. This week, it was a little bit of six head there. Maybe 1,500 IQ. So to end this half, we get to go up 14 points. And I'm so glad that worked. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, that's going to take us into the locker rooms up 24 to 10. I don't know. Offense struggled in the first quarter. Found their stride a little bit in the second. Defense has been good enough all game long. I'm not really sure if there's a whole lot of adjustments that be, need to be made. Shame that we have lost Mike Fontaine for a couple of weeks. Uh, but if we keep playing the same way, we'll be fine. Just got to avoid the sacks. We've had a couple of sacks. We had that play where we stepped out of bounds. So uh, clean those up and we should be able to finish this one off. Well, let's hope that Marquise is well rested after the kick six because... He's got some more work to do to start this third quarter. Can we get some blocks? They're not the best, but it's got Marquise on the sideline. Streaking downfield, the 20, the 10. Can he get in? No. 94 yards on the kick return, and he's held just short of the end zone. To the three-yard line he goes. And this could be uh, another quick touchdown for us. We have not... Spent a whole lot of clock to score the first 14 points, or the, sorry, the last 14 points of the half. 
And I'm not sure we'll spend too much more time on this one, although we could see a pretty epic goal line stand. Second and goal, giving it to the backup fullback and Kevin Spencer. He might be a walk on, I honestly have no idea. But he scores his first touchdown here at Coastal Carolina. And just like that, we're up 21 points. Another touchback for Ole Miss. They're afraid to return the kicks from Frederick, which is good. And we're just going to start bringing a whole lot of pressure. Let's try to get them into a spot where they do not feel comfortable for the rest of the game. Good pass that time over the middle to Jelani Russell. This quarterback's honestly doing a pretty good job this entire game, but uh, I'm not worried about it yet. This time a run, kind of looking for a gap up the middle. Doesn't find a whole lot. We give up three yards. See if we can do something rushing five on this second down now. I'm expecting a run. They do hand it off out towards the edge, and the blocking was just too good, and my user is just not good today. Not good at all. Well, uh, their running is just working too much. Kind of expecting the play action there. No, it is a handoff up the middle, and it's another big pickup. They're close to 100 yards on the ground, I think. We're kind of getting exposed at this point. Uh, the pressure hasn't been working all that well. It is another handoff, and finally, get a good reaction. Kale Mackey gets in there and blows the play up. Kind of expecting that to put them uh, back into the passing game. So we'll expect to see them go to the air. No, it's another handoff. He bounces it to the side. Leon with a big hit. Drops him before he can get more than three. So this is a uh, defense that I think has only given up one. Maybe two third downs so far in this game. Looks like they will step back looking to throw. And there it is, the wide open out route. Nobody even close to him. They have involved just so many different players in this uh, game so far. We'll see what we can do on this one. The corner blitz supposed to be coming from the edge. I don't see a corner over there, though. Man, some ridiculously good blocking from the wide receiver on the left side. So that doesn't work as well as we want. They are in field goal range on this second and nine. A handoff looking for space. There's not much there. We were able to swarm to the spot and get the stomp, and it's another third down. I'm not sure this will work for us, but we're going to try the man coverage this time out. Hope that it works a little bit better. It's a screen. I'm really late to react, but Will Phillips gets there in time and is able to make the hit and the tackle in open space. You love to see it. So it will be a field goal attempted for Ole Miss here. Not sure I can get the timing right. We screw it up anyways, and the kick is good. 31 to 13 now, midway through this third quarter. We're at a very, very comfortable spot in this game now. Uh, another touchdown might be enough to be considered the dagger. Oh my gosh, if we could just hold on to the football and that's going to be a fumble on the kick return. Recovered and sent back to the end zone by the Rebels. Wow, are you kidding me, man? Marquise not able to hold on to it. These guys are doing a really good job of just separating us from the ball today. So Jackson fumbles that one. He almost fumbled a, a punt return earlier. I guess uh, he got into the stash of Butterfingers, but <laughs> make it up for it, maybe, on this one. One man to beat and Marquise. Well, okay. Uh, I guess we just call it a wash. Uh, they score on the last kick return. We score on this one. The only thing is that they're getting the ball back, but I got to trust our defense here and... <laughs> I can't be too upset at this point. We, we got a little bit lucky there. So the 18-point lead is restored once again as Ole Miss will have another chance to try to uh, erase the deficit a little bit. And, man, their running game is just really eating us alive right now. At this point, it's pretty much either uh, a big run or something for a loss. There's no in-between for these guys. We have a nice tackle on that one. Forces the second and 11. As they will look to throw on this one. And, oh, quarterback kind of ran into his line as he was releasing it and just hits the turf. They had a, uh, a man open on that one, but couldn't do anything with it. So on this one, oh, I just got burned for the freaking corner route. I hate it when my user gets exposed like that. It hurts my feelings quite a bit. Let's see if we can do something on this set of downs. Run out towards the edge. Will Phillips gets the good tackle. And again, they don't pick up anything on that one. But I'm almost expecting them now 
to uh, have a big run in one of the next two, like, so, like something over 10 yards. This looks like it's going to be a handoff. Quarterback kept it. I don't know if that was an intentional option or not, but he's going to get hit in the backfield. Just a slow developing play allows Durham Finch to get in there and get his third tackle for loss of the game. All right, can we stop him this time? Only going to rush three. They're going to hand the ball off. They get four yards. It's fourth and ten. I think we see him go for it here in this 18-point game. And I think I'm wrong. <laughs> They're apparently electing to punt this one away from uh, opponent territory. They are across midfield, but they're going to give us the ball back. I guess they don't want to win, and they kind of shanked the punt. Not returnable, but it wasn't very good. Effectively, all they did was burn two minutes in that whole uh, kick return saga. <laughs> we're going to go play action to open this drive. Looking downfield, trying to stay alive. A and B were both open. X, Y, everybody was open at some point. I'm just scared to throw the ball, so we'll go with a little scramble and slide down for the first. And uh, I guess we'll look to the air again here. We probably won't much pass much in the fourth quarter, so I'm going to uh, look to the air as much as I can in the rest of this third. Although, if the scramble's that wide open, I'd be a fool not to take it, especially with Radon's running abilities. Speaking of which, we'll try to expose them on here. Another first down. We'll go with the read option. Looks like Radon's going to be able to keep it. And yeah, he'll lose yards. Not able to get the block on the linebacker there. So we lose two yards. All right. Well, back to the air we go. Could be the final play of the quarter. Ten seconds left in the third. This is a risky one. Behind Marquis, he adjusts to it. And he's actually able to catch it. Uh, but yeah, that will be the end of the third quarter. So... Heading into the fourth, up 18 with the ball. Uh, with our turnovers and the way the offense has maybe struggled in this game, I think it might be wise to try and burn the clock at least a little bit here. Unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to burn the clock if you have a fourth down. So on third and eight, we will look to the sky once again, hoping to find a completion in a first down. Not expecting the most. I was late making that throw. Williams comes down with it. Oh my goodness, Malcolm with a great catch, maybe catch of the game. Very, very impressed with that one as we will just hand the ball off, give it to J.J. Barr and up the middle, the fullback. He's going to lose a yard, but keep the clock moving. I've been pretty impressed uh, with the run defense of the Rebels so far this game. They've done a very solid job uh, for the most part. Occasionally plays like that happen. J.J. Barr, not a very big speedster, but... Quickly gets 11. And now on third and inches, we can give it to him again. And see if there's a little bit of space up the middle or if he can fight through a tackle. One of the benefits. Oh my goodness, JJ Barr is unstoppable. The benefits of having your fullback be your second string running back. He did not want to go down. Just absolutely mowing people over. That was like five broken tackles on the play. Go off, King. First and goal because of that big one. We will look to the air. See if we can get the pass off or outside the pocket. Well, there's Warren, and he can't stay in bounds. Todd Warren, I think, the third string running back. End of the day, that one's on me for not throwing it soon enough. But uh, we'll give it to him again here. Give him a chance to get into the end zone. Man, our backfield. You've never heard of before. Spencer and Warren. Second and goal. Looking up the middle, and there it is. Wow, he took a big hit, but... It was after he had broken the plane, so we get to score. We get to increase our lead now to 25. And with just four and a half minutes left in this game, you got to feel like it's just about wrapped up. They will finally return a kick, and we're going to punish them for it. Oh, man, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one. Held inside their own 20. guess at this point, the question's going to be, will they try and fight tooth and nail to stay in this game? Or are they gonna run the ball so far passing? Unable to get pressure on the quarterback. He eventually finds somebody open. And I'm not gonna really change much up here. Uh, just continue with our coverage. Let them throw these up and oh! Let's see Logan Smith drop an interception. That's a bummer. Came close to getting that one. That's the same kind of play as last game where he did get an interception, but uh, he landed out of bounds, so that time he just doesn't hold on. And an incompletion puts him in a third and ten. 
And this is the chance that our defense has been waiting for on this drive, a chance to get off the field. On third down, out routes there. He's not gonna be over the line, so it's fourth and inches, just short. Uh, kind of unaware running from the wide receiver. And believe it or not, <laughs> I guess they don't want to win. Down four scores. They're going to punt it away. Fourth and inches, four minutes to go in the game. And Marquise with a returnable ball. Man, my returning has just not been good in this game. Running into the blocker there with plenty of space out to the right. So we just do not go far at all. And, uh, well, we got a ways to work with, I guess. Trying to look for something. I got to stop running this. That man is obliterating uh, Radon on the read option. It's just not working. Definitely one of their stars on defense. On this second down, we'll hand it off to JJ Barr, and he's going to get toasted on the play. You might consider these hollow victories for uh, an old Miss team that is finding a stride way too late. Oh my gosh, should have been sacked. Radon breaks two tackles. He's got a man downfield wide open. Chad Bradshaw's gonna come down with it. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> there is zero reason that we should be this far downfield right now. That should have been a sack instead. Radon kind of balls out and uh, well, he finds a man deep downfield and keeps the drive alive. If he wins the Heisman, that could be one of uh, the big highlights on his season. You got to have some Heisman moments, and that kind of seemed like one to me. So third and seven, and now we're officially going into clock burn mode. And since we've got this victory pretty much all wrapped up, I got to do it. You know, we got to ask for it. If you like the video, please scroll down quickly between plays here. Just hit the like button. Helps out a tremendous amount. They do hold us to a fourth down, so Frederick will come in to kick the field goal here. And once again, I tried to push it. Man, I'm doing everything in my power to miss those, but they're just somehow sneaking their way through Arkansas. Okay, maybe they're not a bad team. 2-0, they just slaughtered Kentucky. Curious to see if Ole Miss waves the white flag here now that we are back up, or maybe finally up 28. I think this is our biggest lead of the game. And they are going to run the ball, thankfully, so... No, never mind. They're going to take a timeout. Okay. Well, uh, I thought we were done on offense, but last game, Mississippi State tried to do the same thing, and we had to punish them with a massive touchdown pass to uh, end the game. Looks like we might have to do that this game as well. Very curious that they're running the ball, but they're taking timeouts. Just seems uh, foolish to me. This one's going to be another handoff. That time we stop it. And you know what? I'm going to start taking timeouts. Listen, Ole Miss, I'm sorry, but you don't get to come out here and try to play us for fools. So you're going to get the horns. Uh, another run. Another loss of two yards and another timeout take. And it's third and long. It's going to look a lot worse when you lose to us by an extra touchdown. But you asked for it. Looking to throw quarterback all the time in the world. We're just going to go up and sack him. <laughs> we can't give him that much time. So we will force the fourth down and force them to punt this one away. And uh, with 43 seconds, we're going to look for uh, at least a couple of throws towards the end zone here. If Marquise just doesn't take it the distance himself. So far, not the best blocking. Number 30 is really quick, but we've got 33 seconds to get a quick 50 yards. The game wants us to knee it out, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to send Marquise and Malcolm deep just like last game and see if one of them can burn their man. Well, Marquise burned one, <laughs> but then couldn't burn the other. And then I don't know what I'm doing taking the sack. They're trying real hard not to get just toasted deep. So they had deep safeties, but it doesn't look like they'll have deep safeties on this play. So this might be the one. As again, it could be the final play. And again, I'm taking a sack. All right. Well, I guess that hurts our running a little bit. Can we spike the ball? I don't think our receivers are going to get back in time. Uh, well, that's a disappointing way to end the game. We tried to hit them with the bad manners play and go for a big one at the end. We just get sacked a couple of times in a row. That's embarrassing. Uh, egg on our face on that one. <laughs> Marquise. Player of the game, 287 kick return yards, uh, touchdown. He had a, a kick six, he had decent punt returns. He did give up a fumble for a touchdown, so that hurts, but Radon didn't have the best game, so 
If Radon's not getting player of the game, it's most likely going to be Marquise. 48 to 20 at the end. Pretty solid victory there. So after a very disappointing first quarter, honestly, we came out and did our did our job. Gave up 20 points in the uh, second and third quarters combined, but we ended up putting up 48 through the second, third, and fourth. So getting it done there again, just like last game, we had an explosive end to the first half. Uh, we ended up outpassing them, but they outrushed us. Man, we only put up 95 on the ground. That's pretty rough. Would have been over 100 if we didn't take those two sacks at the end of the game. Uh, again, two turnovers for us, so we're minus four already on the season. Uh, and we just obliterated with time of possession. <laughs> Almost 20 minutes is crazy with uh, six-minute quarters. Again, Marquise is the offensive player of the game. Defensively, it goes to Will Phillips. Two tackles for loss and a sack. Uh, there's a couple of other players, but yeah, sure. The sack is pretty big. Um, all in all, a decent game for us. Not much to say. We came out, we did what we needed to do, and now we are 2-0 to start the season. And on top of that, 2-0 in our new conference here in the SEC. Well, it's the end of the week two. Let's go ahead and sim to our next one at Tamu, who is ranked number 19th, and they should be moving up because I'm pretty sure that uh, I saw that they beat a number 21 Oregon. We don't change our ranking as Texas A&M moves up two to uh, number 17. Let's take a quick look at ESPN because a couple of crazy things happened, or a couple upsets, I guess, happened. Nothing in the top five, really nothing in the top 10, just a lot of wins there, I think. Uh, Nebraska actually lost to an unranked Boston College by a field goal. USC lost to Texas. That's not too surprising, and there it is, Oregon losing to Texas A&M, 35-28. to 28. LSU and Florida must have also taken losses as they, as they drop out in Ohio State now, ranked 26th. I got to imagine that they have not lost yet. Uh, kind of curious. Can we take on Texas A&M? We'll preview 95 overall for the Aggies. Something that we should be able to beat, but uh, we have to go on the road and face both the football team and the 12th man. Again, in the Heisman watch, nothing changes as Marquise and Radon stay at those two and three spots, respectively. And uh, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. That was uh, a nice, fun game. I'm curious to know if you'll let me down in the comments what you thought of the changes in the settings, if it was noticeable at all to you. Um, to me, it looked like the kind of the cutscenes, you know, between the plays and whatnot seemed to be a little bit smoother but maybe the gameplay wasn't as smooth but uh let me know what you thought about it kind of always looking to change things up to improve them and again if you haven't already uh please feel free to hit the like button subscribe if you aren't already and you want to be notified when these new videos go up uh like over 50 percent of the people that will watch this video aren't subscribed so if you are one of those 50 percent you know it'd be doing me a real solid we try to lower that number if not hey thanks for watching the video anyways it means a ton to me and again i hope that you enjoyed it after you've gone ahead and liked and subscribed please head to the description where you can find links to my twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster as well as links to my twitter our community discord and as always the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get this for yourself all that being said though thank you guys so much for watching my name is Goonmaster, you guys are the Teal Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.